I'm of the opinion that everybody has room in their life for some type of solar powered system. Whether you're living off grid or have a mobile shop or need power for the job site, there's something out there that's right for you. In today's video, we're going to be doing a direct head to head comparison between two systems that deliver the same features and see comparing the pros and cons of each, which one might be best for your application. Today we're going to be comparing the Anchor Solix F2000 to a more conventional component based system using parts from Victron offering the same warranties and the same level of product quality for an apples to apples comparison so that at the end of the video you can decide which one of these approaches will be most beneficial to you to take your life off grid. If you've been looking for a way to combine the advantages of modern lithium iron phosphate battery technology along with the performance and reliability of a more conventional component based solar off grid system and yet do so in a package that's not only pre assembled and wired for you but also portable and comes with a warranty, there's no doubt that the Anchor Solix F2000 is the right choice for you. Before we get started on this comparison, I wanna go over the specs of the Anchor Solix F2000 with the expansion battery so you'll understand what we're trying to replicate with all these components over here on my right. The Anchor Solix F2000 with the expansion battery has four kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery storage built into it. On the output section on the AC side, we have an inverter capable of 2400 watts of continuous AC output. We've got four plugs and we also have a 30 amp receptacle here for powering larger devices or plugging straight into an RV. On the DC side, we have two 10 amp car sockets that can be turned on and off with a switch here. In addition to some USB and USB-C ports for intelligent GAN based charging here. It's got a built in display that will tell you the battery percentage remaining but it will also tell you the solar wattage coming in, the DC wattage going out, and how much power you're pulling from shore power when you're plugged into the grid. It also has a built-in light, which is really handy if you're taking something like this out with you camping. The last feature that it has that's worth mentioning is Bluetooth connectivity to your smartphone via the Anchor app. That gives you the ability to turn on and off different loads from the comfort of your own bed if you're hanging out in your van. And it also gives you the ability to monitor what's going on how much power you're coming in and how much power is going out on not only your DC but also your AC loads from one easy to view screen. Moving in, let's take a look at what components you need if you want to replicate the same level of functionality and battery pack capacity that you get with the Solix F2000 if you decide to make your own component based system. To kick off the comparison, let's take a look at the core of the system and that is the battery storage. The Anchor Solix F2000 has 4,000 watt hours of storage with the expansion battery. The closest I could get with an off-the-shelf battery is this 300 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate option. This one is a Victron option. It retails for a little over $3,100. However, there are cheaper options out there for around $1,200 using the same chemistry, but you do lose that warranty, which again is an important part of making this comparison apples to apples. Next to the battery, we have the inverter section. And the inverter here is a Victron MultiPlus 3000. This unit is rated for 2400 watts of continuous 120 volt AC output, which is a perfect match for the 2400 watts of continuous 120 volt output offered by the F2000. Also, this unit has a built in charger, which will charge this battery much the same way that the Solix F2000 will charge the battery itself automatically whenever you connect it to short power. Moving on, we have another charging section, and that is the solar power charging section. The Solix can accept up to 1,000 watts of PV input and deliver that to your battery. This unit right here is the Victron Smart Solar MPPT charge controller, and this is a 70 amp model. A 70 amp model at 12 volts is gonna get you almost exactly in line with the 1,000 watts that this can handle, but it comes in at a steep price tag. You're gonna be paying over $500 for just this charge controller alone. Next to the charge controller, we have our Orion DC to DC charger. Now, because you can charge the Solix F2000 off of your vehicle's alternator, we wanted to replicate that functionality on this side as well, and so we chose this. It has the ability to output 360 watts of charging, which is more than the Anchor Solix can produce, but it does require being hardwired to the vehicle's battery or alternator, whereas this can simply be plugged into the automotive style cigarette lighter on the dash of your vehicle. The next thing that we have to talk about for tying this all together is some type of display. The Anchor Solix F2000 has a built-in display that shows you the PV input, 
the AC output, the DC output, the battery percentage and the battery percentage of your expansion battery, as well as the time remaining. The only way to get all of that functionality from a component-based system was to go with a Serbo GX from Victron and their Touch 50 color display. These are high-end options that no doubt offer a little bit improved resolution and display quality than the Solex, but it comes in at a much higher price tag. To have this level of monitoring available for your system is going to cost you over $500. Now to tie this all together, you have to have some type of DC distribution bus. I came in and put up the Lynx distributor for our pick for this setup. It has the ability to connect all of this together safely with all of these fuses for overcurrent protection. And I threw in a master on off switch so you can safely turn this all off. Now to tie it all together, we need some way of distributing all of this DC power out to our 12 volt loads. So I included this DC fuse block and I went ahead and threw in just a nice USB charging port here that you could mount on the dash of a vehicle or on the wall in your rig somewhere. With all of these components, of course, we have to have some way to tie it together. I could have gotten a bucket of wire and dumped it on this table, but instead I just got a few pieces of the two watt cable, which is the thickness you would need if you're going to be wiring this inverter to the battery or to your Lynx distributor. Clearly, if we're comparing just the physical size, we have a definite winner in the Anchor Solux F2000. And if we're taking a look at the price to create a system that offers the same warranty and features, you're looking at spending $5,900 for all Victron components for a system that meets the specs of this. If you go with a cheaper battery, you can drop that price to about $4,100. But if you compare that to the fact that this with the expansion battery retails for $3,000, it's a no-brainer that you could save up to $2,000 simply by choosing the Solux F2000 over a component-based system. One thing that we haven't touched on, which is a given if you're doing a component-based system, is the fact that you or another professional will have to install it for you. And that's going to take up a lot of time, and time is money, is it not? That also means that for you as a DIYer to install this safely, you're gonna to have to educate yourself on all the proper techniques for crimping battery lugs and making safe electrical connections throughout your system. And on something like this, there will be a lot of them. Whereas with the Solux F2000, you can literally use it the day you get it, and that's really handy. If you're building your rig off-grid or in the middle of nowhere and you want a way to run your tools immediately, all you have to do is pick this up, plug in your solar panels, and you're up and running with power so you can build your off-grid rig off-grid. That's a great feature and it removes a lot of frustration and will make your life a lot easier as you're building the rig of your dreams. The next aspect I want to cover Highlighting the differences between these two options is safety. Now, I've been installing off-grid solar systems for over 10 years, and I can tell you it takes a long time to know how to size the wire and make these connections properly to get a safe system. Anchor makes it very easy in the Solex by making all those connections for you. There's no guesswork. You know that this is going to work out of the box, and it's going to be safe out of the box. If you go with a component-based system, you don't have that same guarantee. You might have the best hardware in the world, and no doubt this is some of it, but if you can't connect it safely or correctly, well, it's as good as a paperweight in my book. And do you really want to be, as a DIYer, staying up at night wondering if you made that crimp connection to your battery as secure as it should be, or is that going to overheat down the road, causing it to melt, or even worse, start a fire? If you're concerned about safety or don't have experience working with these high amperage, DC-based component off-grid systems, I would really reconsider buying these components separately and maybe look into picking up the F2000 for yourself. Let's talk about the value that you get from both of these systems. Now, this system, no doubt, is certainly more expensive, but they both represent a significant investment in your off-grid energy solution. One thing I want to highlight is a lot of times we're building these systems for rigs that are not used all the time. Maybe your van is for weekend warrior trips, or maybe you just don't full-time year-round like some of the other people out there on the internet. That makes it a lot harder to justify spending thousands of dollars for a really fantastic off-grid system that's stuck in a rig. Whereas we look at the Solux F2000 and all of the money that you spend to pick up the unit and the expansion battery is something that you can actually easily unplug from your rig and take with you on other trips or use around the house or around your shop and continue getting value out of it 365 days a year, which just isn't possible if all of this fancy equipment is bolted to the wall of your van 
and you're not sleeping in it. So I hope it's clear that these two systems couldn't be more different despite our best attempts to make this an apples to apples comparison. On my right, you certainly have a little bit more flexibility and modularity, but you're spending a lot more money, you're taking the assembly into your own hands, and you're building a system that is stuck where you install it. Whereas with the Anchor Solux F2000, all of the guesswork is gone. You're saving a little bit of money for the same amount of quality and warranty, and you're getting a system that is also portable. So just because you're not camping in the van this weekend doesn't mean you can't take advantage of the off-grid system that you spent your hard-earned money on. I hope this comparison has been helpful in illustrating the differences between these two approaches to powering your off-grid lifestyle. And while you certainly couldn't go wrong choosing either of these, I think for most people who aren't full-time living in a massive RV, this is going to be a better setup. It's got all the power you need to run your basic devices. You don't have to assemble it yourself. You can save some money. And when you're not using that adventure rig, you can take this with you to power your off-grid lifestyle wherever it takes you.